You know, here's Natty Rick, who graduated from his catechism class to Lutheran Church. He is quite a dude. That playhouse was one I built. It wasn't popular until I put a hatch in a roof and the kids spent hours on the roof. There's the old faithful slide. There's a fire in the pasture next to us. And uh, they frequently had grass fires over there. <coughs> Later on, we kept horses in that pasture. <coughs> but the fires were quite interesting whenever they occurred. That's just a jet stream of a jet plane. We were just put this in to be artistic. And this is a trip that Cy, Jane, and Cherry took the camera visit to the Alamo in Galveston. And there's Cy and Cherry going into the water. He's sure shapely in those days. I think Cherry is about eight then. But they had a good time. There's a battleship Texas at Houston. And uh, they visited it. Yeah, here's Cherry's eighth birthday. The usual ritual with all the other kids and neighbors in. And Cherry's pigging it out. This is Nancy's second birthday. She's uh, getting to be quite a lady. Well, she's got enough wind to blow them out. Yeah, there's Rick, the Boy Scout, he and Bobby in the backyard. This is 1957 Christmas. And Nancy started to wake up to the facts of life, what Christmas was all about. And the kids showing off as usual. There's lookalikes Jane and Martha. I didn't think they usually looked alike, but they certainly did in this picture. And there's Cy sneaking a little tickle. He liked to tease Nancy. There's our traditional socks hanging out. Everybody seems to ham it up when the camera lights came on. They were very intense, and they knew when they came on. I guess Bobby's got a real genuine plastic gun there. Nancy's one of her herd of dolls. There's Cherry and Bobby. And Martha demonstrating how she mowed down the Japs when she was in the Marines. And there's at Forest Park, and Nancy and the little cars. 
those little cars are still running, the identical cars. I doubt if they've even been painted since. Here we would possum kingdom. We'd pull out there and Rick's doing some fishing. They had a state park there. It was very nice. We'd pull a trailer up there and they'd have a little uh, picnic table. And you'd have picnics and hike around and it's quite a nice place to go with a family. There it's raining and I think this picture demonstrated what good wipers we had. There's some of the campground at Possum Kingdom. Across the lake there, the dam. There we were all playing chicken, getting out of an old sunken wharf. But uh, I think Bobby's finally going to make it out there. We had to keep urging him. But he wasn't big enough to sink it. If it didn't sink when I got out there, it wasn't going to sink. And this is still scenes around Possum Kingdom. I don't know why we took scenes like this, but I guess somebody like Texas Hills and there's a dam and spillway. There's Nancy and her Easter finery. She's growing up to be quite a young lady now. And here's Martha, Nancy, Rick, and Bobby all showing off. Here's an old Jeep delivery truck I had. It was formerly a cleaning truck. And it had a bar, and the kids hung from the bar, and I'd drive, and they just loved it. And here's Bunny, Christmas 1958. She, uh, Nancy... was a musician, but uh, too bad we couldn't hear the tune. The usual Christmas tree and presents. It got later on that the uh, only time we ever broke the camera out was when Christmas came around every year. And later we even missed Christmases. Here's a round robin of songs. Here's the battleship Texas again. The gunners are Rick and Bobby. I think they could have stayed there all day. They just love to play with anything that moved. But we had to go see the battleship every time we'd go anywhere near Houston. And there's a Jan San Jacinto monument. And uh, later on, the uh, ground was sinking some, and I don't know as they let people in it anymore. There's a view from the top of the monument of the Houston ship channel and here's a Galveston ferry we love to ride it we always went on it and rode several round trips every time we went to Galveston and that was uh, considered the highlight of the trip here's a cold beach it was uh, no swimming on this trip 
Maybe we could confine ourselves to hunting some seashells. Now we never had too much success in getting the occupants out of the seashells. They lay around a while, start to smell, and we throw them out. Here's our March 3 birthdays, uh, 1959, I think. Rick was 13 and Bobby was 8. The Fort Worth Press, which was in Fort Worth at that time, run articles on us every year <clears throat> about the three of us having the same birthday. But when the press went under, they quit doing that. And this is Nancy in her Easter finery. And then here's Nancy's fourth birthday. She didn't like for admirers or buddies. I don't know who all the people are, but uh, here's Nancy in high heels, and it's Nancy's first driver's education class. And back to high heels. There's the old Jeep panel again. And here's Christmas 1959, hanging up the socks. And the chair is getting to be quite a pretty young lady. There's Jane and her Christmas apron. And Bobby in her bathrobe. I don't know whether that was unicycle or not. One time I made him a unicycle. And we tried and tried and tried. None of us could ride it, but the neighbor boy just got on first time and rode beautifully. So we all lacked the balance. Here's Paul on his bike kick. He rode bicycles several years. 